Rock and Sand Apologetics welcomes you to Lesson 6, uh, the Bible study of Lord of the Rings. Gimli, short in height, tall in stature. He had no helm, and about his head was a linen band stained with blood, but his voice was loud and strong. Forty-two, Master Legolas, he cried. Alas, my axe is matched. Uh, the forty-second had an iron collar on his neck. How is it with you? You passed my score by one, answered Legolas. But I did not grudge you the game. So glad am I to see you on your legs. There is an order I'm uh, following here, but it's of my own design. Uh, I do not follow natural logic or the, or the way the characters are introduced. Gimli is next on my list. Having touched the four hobbits, the Fellowship, and Aragorn, I have chosen Gimli the Dwarf, because, like the hobbits, his virtues are not immediately seen. Also, I have chosen him because his strengths that are seen. Gimli, son of Glowin, is introduced to us as a proud and prejudiced dwarf. Dwarves and elves were, at that time, at odds with one another. Although strong and valiant in battle, Gimli begins the quest as somewhat of a snob, not to mention a bigot. Yet he is dedicated to the quest, for the sake of his people, if not for any other reason, that grows towards the others in the fellowship. This loyalty rivals, the, mourns the death of Balin in the minds of Moria, although it was his suggestion that they take the path. He really wanted to show off the glory of his people to the fellowship. Instead, forced to leave the mines of Moria and do so with Lorien, which uh, to him was a place of Im imminent peril. Yet it is here that Gimli finds that elves aren't as... Gimli's valor isn't in his mighty arms and legs nor the steadfastness in the midst of battle. His valor is in the loyalty and love that has grown because of his devotion to the quest. One of the important things here is to realize this change came about at La In the life, in this life, we can all identify with prejudice, whether being prejudiced against or having prejudice rule our thoughts. Many of us have seen God work a miracle in, in us, overcoming is our contact with the fellowship, the people of God, to help us to do this. But more, the quest that God puts before us, the change that can be that takes place is actually described in Acts chapter two, for it was there that the hundred and twenty followers of Christ had gathered together in prayer, and in one accord, when God poured out His Holy Spirit, is this coming in contact with His Holy Spirit that changes our lives, gives us strength. It helps us see what others cannot. Like Gimli, we all seem to think we have reason to be proud, but when we come to God, we find that only He has the right to be proud. Our own good deeds are only done with His strength in us. When we come to our Lothlorien, that place where we meet the Holy Spirit, then the changes that began when we met Christ begin to really take shape and strength in us. For Galadriel stands as a figure of the Holy Spirit of God. The Father is judge, creator, provider, and so much more. 
He is head of this house. Jesus is the Son, the one to whom we must go to understand and have a relationship with the Father. The Holy Spirit is that gentleness of God that allows us to feel his presence, to utilize his power in, in his way, to his glory. Like parents, many times it is the father who lays down the rules, but it is the love of the mother who draws the child into keeping them. So it is with God, so also it was with Gimli. May we, like Gimli, ask of God boldly for that which God places upon our hearts. In so doing, we may then receive the power to show the love of God in our lives. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. John fifteen twelve through 14.